What a splendid expression of love that she is lying there in her best clothes at his feet. And I wonder if when we are in our disparity and in our hopelessness and our rejection and our times of struggle, if, if we would go back to the feet of Jesus every time, go back there, not once, but probably over and over and over again in our lives. And I wonder if when we go in our kind of pitiful selves, if Jesus says, oh, Amaretha, you're back. What a splendid expression of love that you would come back to me, that you would over and over and over come back to me in those times of risks and in those times of failure. And no matter what hurts happen, we can trust that God is madly in love with us and that he can change that past and he can do something so beautiful with it because in the background and in the big picture, there's something so beautiful going on. And whether you've grown up in the church or this is your first time in the church, you must know that your hurts and your past, they do not have to define your future, but that we have a very real God, a very present God that wants good things for us and that we have a great hope in Christianity that says the best is yet to come. And in the same way, we just want to infuse you with hope that in the same way, Ruth was able to have a bright future because she chose to throw herself at the feet of Boaz, a huge risk. It could have backfired. In the same way, we can throw ourselves at the feet of Jesus and find a better future and find a true hope, realizing that we're not limited to failures, but we can be brave. And so we just want to bring us all back to that question. What would you do if you were brave? What would you think or plan if you actually were brave? I know a lot of times we, we see the scriptures or we say, oh yeah, we believe God can do anything. But in your daily lives and what you think and what you dream of for the future, what would you actually put down in writing if you were brave? And this morning we realize that our only hope, our only security is found at Jesus. And in the same way that Ruth she didn't just accept defeat, but she threw herself at the feet of Jesus. And a way you can remember that is when you're facing a dire circumstance, will you accept defeat or throw yourself at the feet of Jesus? Will you choose feet or defeat? Will you choose feet or defeat. And you can just remember that. And I, I remember going through such struggles as a young person. Like I said, my house was going through foreclosure. And uh, I remember as like an 11-year-old, 12-year-old, my mom, I was having to take her to a mental hospital and different drug overdoses and having such dire circumstances in my life. I was depressed and I was suicidal. I didn't really have any hope in my life. And I know that there were so many things that could have held me down, but someone preached the good news of Jesus Christ to me, and I, I had to make a choice. Will I accept my shame and my guilt and my pain? Will I just cower and say that toxic sentence, things will always be the same, or will I be brave and throw myself at the feet of Jesus? And I'm so glad that as a young person, I chose to be brave and throw myself at the feet of Jesus, saying, hey, I don't know everything about Christianity. I don't know everything about who you are but I'll risk it all on you. And from that moment of saying, Jesus, you're my boss, my whole life turned for the better. And there's so many things that we can be brave in. And I just want to infuse hope in you. Do you have financial difficulties? Will you allow yourself to be brave and trust Jesus in the midst of it? Do you have someone in your family who is, is lost and going through something really difficult? Will you be brave and believe God has good plans for them? Do you have a marriage that seems to be failing and you're like, how could this ever recover? Will you be brave and still fight that God can breathe hope in it and that the best is yet to come? Because Cornerstone, we serve a God who has good things for us. And when we risk it all on Jesus. He says, man, I am so glad you came to me. I have good things for you, and I want to breathe bravery and strength and hope in your life. Cornerstone, this morning, will you be brave?